Hello everyone. Today video is about 100 civic questions. When you want to become a US citizen, as part of that process, you have to be attending the interview, preparing for the 100 interview questions. The immigration officer, USCIS officer will be asking you the questions. You have to be minimum eight questions. You have to tell the, they'll be asking eight questions, but a minimum six questions you have to answer. Yeah. Right. But from the set of 100 questions. So yeah. these are the 100 questions sure, yeah. for the USCIS um, yes. 2008 version. So. Yes, we when we became uh, US citizens, we prepared this uh, question, these questions. So just as a good idea to you know share with you all, what are those 100, 100 questions? 100 questions. So he will be asking me, and okay. you'll get answer. Sure. Still, do you remember? Mm, answer? I still remember. Okay. What's the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. What does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these three words? We the people. Good job. What's an amendment? It's a change to the Constitution. What do we call the first ten amendments to the Constitution? The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Freedom of speech. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. Good job so far. Okay. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said the United States is free from Great Britain. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. Good job. What is freedom of religion? You can practice in a religion or not practice a religion. Okay. What's the economic system in the United States? We are a capitalist economy. Okay. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. Name one branch or part of the government. The Congress. Okay. What stops one branch of a government become too powerful? The checks and balances. Mm -hmm. Who is in charge of executive branch? The president. Who makes federal laws? The Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? The Senate and the House of Representatives. How many U.S. Senators are there? 100. Okay. Good job so far. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six years. Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? So on these questions, the answer will be vary depends on where you are or the state where you are. Mm. So yeah. for us, we are in Georgia. It's Jan Ossoff. John Ossoff. Yeah. At the time of when we became a U.S. citizen, John yeah. Ossoff was our senator, one of our U.S. Senator. Yeah. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Okay. We elect a U.S. representative for how many years? Two years. Okay. Name your U.S. representative. The answer again will be vary according to your uh, place and your, yeah, your location. Yeah. At the time of when we become a U.S. citizen, David Scott was our U.S. representative. Yeah. Who does a U.S. senator represent? All the people of the state. Okay. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state population. Okay. We elect a president for how many years? Four years. Okay. In what month do we vote for president? In November. Okay. Every four years once, November month. Yep. What is the name of the president of the United States now? Joe Biden. Okay. What is the name of the Vice President of the United States now? Kamala Harris. Yes. This, again, these answers will vary at the time of when you become a U.S. citizen. Yeah. At the time, who is the President, president. and Vice President? You have to tell the answer. Yeah. If the President can no longer serve, who becomes President? The Vice President. If both president and vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The speaker of the house. Okay. Who is the commander-in-chief of the military? The president. Okay. 
Who signs the bills into become laws? The president. Who vetoes the bills? The president. Okay. What does the president cabinet do? The advice is the president. The advice is the president. Okay. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of State and Secretary of Labor. Okay. What does the judicial branch do? It reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? The Supreme Court. How many justices on the Supreme Court? Nine. Okay. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Robert Jr. Yep. Again, this answer is like again at the time of you become, you know, whoever is that time Supreme Court judge, you have to, you know, tell the answer, right answer. Under our constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To declare war. Wow. To print money. <laughs> <laughs> under, our, under our constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the state? To provide schooling and education. And they give a driving license too. I mean, there are some multiple answers. You can choose one. Who is the governor of your state right now? The answer on this question also vary according to your place. State, the state you state. live in. Yeah. Yep. But who is the governor? Ryan Kemp. At the time, yeah. Right now. What is the capital of your state? So this question also will vary according to your place or location or where you are. So we are in Georgia, so our capital is Atlanta. Yes. What are the two major political parties in the United States? The Democratic and the Republican. Okay. What is the political party of the current president? He's in Democratic Party. Okay. What's the name of the uh, Speaker of the House representatives now? Nancy Pelosi. Okay. Rights and responsibilities. That's the next question. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Citizen 18 and older can vote. Okay. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Vote in federal election. Okay. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in federal election. Okay. What are two rights for everyone of in living in the United States? Freedom of speech mm -hmm. and freedom of religion. Correct. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The flag. The flag. Okay. Or the United States. What is one promise you can make when you become a United States citizen? Obey the laws of the United States. Okay. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older. Okay. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote in federal election and join a political party. Okay. What's the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15. Okay. When must all men register for the selective services? At, at age 18. Okay. American history now. What's one reason colonists came to America? For freedom. Okay. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? The American Indians. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? The Africans. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of the high taxes. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. There were 13 original states. Uh, name three. New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. Okay. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. Okay. When was the Constitution written? 1787. Okay. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. What's one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? He is a U.S. diplomat. Okay. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. 
Who was the first president? George Washington. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. Okay. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War. Okay. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. Okay. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. The slavery. Mm -hmm. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? He freed the slave. Emancipation Proclamation. Okay. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Free the slaves. Mm -hmm. What did Susan B. Anthony do? Fought for a uh, woman's right. Okay. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s. World War II. Who was president during World War I? Woodrow Wilson. Who was the president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. Good job. Who did the United States fight in the World War II? Japan, Germany and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war he is in? World War II. Okay. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? The communism. Mm. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? The civil rights movement. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? Fought for civil rights. What major event happened on September 11, 2001 in the United States? The terrorist attacked the United States. Okay. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Cherokee. Cherokee. Name one of the lo two longest rivers in the United States. The Mississippi. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? The Pacific Ocean. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The Atlantic Ocean. Name one U.S. territory. Guam. Mm -hmm. Name one state that borders Canada. Maine. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York Harbor. Okay. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. What does, I mean, why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. Mm -hmm. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's and Christmas. New Year's Day and Christmas Day. Okay, so this is how the questions will appear in the real exam, citizenship exam. The citizen, USCIS officer will randomly ask eight questions among these hundred questions. So you have to answer, answer correct six, six, six questions. Yeah. If you are able to answer the first six questions correct, then officer will not go for a seventh and eighth question. That's what okay. people say. But uh, sometimes maybe the officer might, for mm. interest, they might ask extra questions. But better you know, be prepared mm -hmm. for the questions. Yeah. Be prepared, well prepared before our citizenship uh, exam. So we always like ask how we presented here like that so we always ask the questions each other so we are daily we are practicing the questions so during our exam it was very easy it's like okay. since we practiced very well at home so it was very really easy yeah. yeah so that's it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please like it and please subscribe if you're not subscribed to our channel and click the bell notification so you get notified whenever we have a new video Correct. thank you and see you again for another day another vlog bye bye thank you